Welcome back everyone to another episode here on Vivo Garage. We are continuing with our goat ski series. This will be the fourth video um, in the series and today we're going to be getting the jet ski all cleaned up, torn down to some extent, uh, start getting all the vinyl stickers that were on it removed and just overall getting it cleaned up ready for reassembly. So. That'll be in the next video or videos to come. We're gonna also start getting the engine assembled here really quick. Won't be in today's video, but we will be getting it going. Um, as it's in the back of my truck right now, I'm heading over to my buddy Luke's house. We're gonna assemble it together. So I'm gonna get the, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get the video footage for that done. But in today's video, like I said, we're gonna get this thing cleaned up. We're going to get all the stickers, decals removed off of it and get it ready for its next stage. And that's where we're going to start putting the vinyl wrap on it, doing some uh, minor hole fixes and things like that. Just getting it in a much better condition. So look forward to this. Stay tuned. So since I've picked this thing up, it's just been kind of sitting in the garage and I haven't really had a chance to get it cleaned up or anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to give this thing a nice wash with some pressure washer and see what we got. I know like these here, this is chips and stuff like that and they're probably not going to come out. But we'll just see how clean we can get it and then we can assess on what type of um, gel coat repair we're going to need to get done and also how you know these can get cleaned up even though they will get replaced um just kind of get some of this gunk out that's in there yeah so and we'll see how clean this is i'm kind of wanting to get a new cover anyway just because i think it's going to match the color scheme a little better but we'll uh we'll just see how it looks so still have to learn some camera stuff i guess but I uh, did a time lapse on getting this thing washed and all that, and it did one second of it. So I don't know, but anyway, it's all washed. It looks a little better. Um, just looking at some stuff like right here, you can see, I don't know what this stuff is, but we're gonna have to definitely get that buffed out because the base coat will remain white. Um, we'll be revealing what our color combo is here. Uh, probably in our next video, um, but for now, we'll, uh, keep you guys guessing. If you have any comments or anything like that, if you, what you think would look pretty good, drop me a note below. Let's see what you guys think. Um, the, uh, what was I going to point out? Oh, the seat here. It's probably hard to tell, but the seat's supposed to be blue and it's really blotchy, so... I think I'm gonna have to get a new seat cover for this thing. I was hoping not to, uh, just for cost savings on it. But I think we're gonna, I mean, if you look, the strap that's busted could probably just be reattached pretty easily, but probably be best just to replace it. It's pretty faded and, you know, I think it's been weathered and who knows what that stuff is. So we'll get that 
replaced. I was hoping that some of this stuff, like up in the front that I showed you, would come off, but it's just not. So maybe I'll try some bug and tar remover, see if that does anything on it. But, you know, there's some chips like right here. I'm going to have to do some gel coat repair. Um, looking into some stuff on that right now. And then, not that I thought this would come off by washing it, but this will probably have to be sanded down. This may have been a repair job or something like that that was done. And I think it just needs to be cleaned up. Um, this grip stuff here, I was hoping that some of this stuff here, maybe my pressure washer just wasn't hard enough or I just wasn't hitting it hard enough. But it's just all gunky in there. Well, uh, that'll all come up when I tear these things up here. Um... But all in all, it doesn't look like it's in too bad a shape. Uh, these panels I've got to get removed. That'll be later in the video. I'm going to be taking this off as well because this is going to need to be done with our new color scheme. Um, I've got a, the mirror. I've got to either replace or fix. The mirror itself broke off. I have it right in here. And it just, it just broke off. So I think I can just glue that in and that'll just stay just fine. But I'll throw that in here just for now. Uh, this here, I'm a little concerned. I think I can get that, get, get that buffed out, but it's kind of scratched up and it may make it hard to see the display once we get this thing powered on and we're using it. So yeah, it, uh, See, it's like this stuff is just residue, I think, that got to get that cleaned off. Might be best to take the thing off as well, just to make it easier. Um, and then we got all these extra warning stickers back here, but we'll leave the main one here. And then I'll be taking all the rest of these off um, just because they're not needed. All right, all in all, it turned out a little cleaner. Not too much different, but a little cleaner. I'm overall happy with it. So uh, yeah, next up, we're gonna start getting these items removed and then we will start getting the old vinyl decals and stuff removed and we can really truly see how the hull looks. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try and get this off here. I see a couple of bolts up here and then there's two more in the back. We're gonna undo those. But I think this reverse lever is gonna have to come in the way, which looks like it's just prying this up and there's probably something in there. So we're gonna start with that and we'll see how it goes. Having a good set of pry tools could come into play to help get these things out. This one works. I don't want this to break. It's a yeah, definitely a bolt under there, so which looks like it's also a 10 millimeter. Years of probably being on there, so just takes a little bit of effort.
Doesn't look like I thought that through very well. That's all right. We're learning. Alright, so I stopped the video because it's no fun watching Sony pound on something. But uh, anyway, as you can see, I got it off. And we uh, have to get a new bolt for this, but no big deal. It's just one bolt. And yeah, I mean, that was, I think it was just stuck in there pretty well. This piece. That was not the piece. This was the piece and it just had so much buildup in there that it was just cut, causing it to stick. So, got it out. Had to take the throttle adjuster off as well. So now we'll just continue to get this thing out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like the gauge cluster is just held in by, I don't know, some maybe 8 millimeter bolts. So, get that undone next. As you can see, we got it out. This will uh, this will make it a lot easier as we're going to be vinyl wrapping this. Uh, but we're going to get it all cleaned up, obviously, to accept the new vinyl wrap. We'll get this off here, as well as the uh, GoPro mount. But it's a good place for a GoPro mount that we'll be putting in the future. But yeah, good news on that. I'm happy, happy about that. So next thing we're going to take off are these side things. Looks like there's just three bolts that are holding it in. However, this one here is missing a nut. But right, we will get that out and see if we can't find one to put in place. Yeah. 
So, got that off. I'm gonna screw this back on. I did lose the washer. But I can get another one of those because I don't think it's ever gonna be found down there. Yeah, it looks like this either. Yeah, you can see here. It broke because it is definitely not as long as the others. So if I want to keep this secure, which I imagine is this thing slapping around in the water, this thing's going to be slapping around too. So I need to get this secured. But these are going to get vinyl wrapped as well. So we're going to get these, all the decals and stuff off and we'll get it sound uh, sanded down. So, because we have the power of uh, internet and video editing, um, I got the other one off. So, we have both off, like I was saying. We're going to get these decals off, and then we're going to get them uh, cleaned up, sanded down, because these are getting final wrapped. And these two are going to get wrapped in the same color as this so the, all three of these will match um as we're gonna continue i'm gonna just do a little clean up here um looks kind of gross and i won't show any of that that's nothing fun to watch so um and then next part is is we're going to start getting this vinyl off and i'm hoping that goes good i hope it's not just going to be these little quick peel things I hope I can get big chunks of it off be taking off all the license tag stuff I've got new stuff that we're gonna put down for that obviously I have to but yeah so we'll just continue on There we go. That's the end of this episode. As you can see, we got pretty far with getting it cleaned up and getting all the vinyl stickers and stuff like that off. Um, want to thank everyone who's uh, taken the time out to watch this video. Also, want to thank my new subscribers that have recently uh, subscribed to the channel. It means a lot to me. Share, comment, like, all that stuff really helps me grow this channel. I'm hoping I can continue to gain subscribers as we go i'll start getting more content out uh it is the towards the end of april i think the uh, 26th yeah, april 26th <laughs> yeah in quarantine it start losing track of days here so um we'll be getting the next video out here hopefully within the next week where we're either going to be doing the vinyl wrap on this thing i've got vinyl that is still out for delivery that should be should be hopefully getting it next week but the engine assembly we're going to start getting that filmed um and hopefully we can get that thing put in the in this empty hole here all right well again this has kind of gone a little long-winded again thank you so much for watching thank for your continued support and uh, stay safe, and until the next time, bye.